there is really nothing like this out there because henna is a deep conditioner and simultaneously it makes your hair stronger, thicker, removes dandruff and also colors your hair. The way it does this, because the way henna works is unlike hair coloring, it doesn't penetrate your hair follicle or your hair shaft. It actually coats it. And I'm a true ambassador of my product. I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I have a few gray hair, and I've only used henna all my life. So um, uh, this is how it works. It actually gently coats your hair, so it seals in and locks in the moisture, makes it thicker, stronger, and fuller. So the way we've done the coloring now, going back to henna, is that we've used only, like I said, it's pure, 100% natural, organic. Uh, I Why guess, are henna over the other henna? You know, the, what I would like to say is because of the fact that we are 100% pure. If they're saying that they're going to make your hair blonde, there's chemical in it. There is no, henna just cannot do that. Uh, henna cannot lift your hair. It can just coat it, so it will not change. So if someone's out there saying that henna can do that, that's just inaccurate information and absolutely false information. Mm -hmm. So um, we stand by our quality and our standards and the way we've come up with these different colors, again it's all botanical, we use only fruit and vegetable extracts to come up with these different colors. So it's henna, the, henna the way natural henna is, it, um, like for example, if someone just has black hair, it'll just give you a hue of that color. But on your gray hair, it will turn into that color. So for a consumer, the way you'd pick up the henna color of your choice would be if you're trying to cover your hair, uh, if you're trying to cover your gray, you would choose it to the color you want the gray to turn into. I use it on my teenage daughter just for deep conditioning purposes. So, and it gives her a nice hue, which she gets excited about, which, you know, it's fine because it's natural. Oh, if I color my hair, can I use henna? Yes, you can. Don't do it the other way around because, again, just remember, henna coats your hair. So if you try to color your hair, once you've used henna, that's going to be harder. But you can do it the other way around. In fact, if you do it the other way around, it'll actually seal in the color long. So moving on to our henna oils. Now these have also been carefully formulated with different types of oil to make sure it has the right consistency, it's not too heavy. For example, one of them has almond oil, which is a great moisturizing uh, component, but it's too heavy. So we've mixed it in with um, jojoba oil, which is a very interesting oil actually. A lot of people don't realize, know this, that a jojoba oil is like, it actually simulates our own sebum. So the way it works, it actually goes into your root and cleans out your uh, root of the hair and any impurities that there so it rejuvenates hair growth. Cinnamon oil is known in ancient times to facilitate hair growth. So we have tree tea oil which is antifungal in nature. So they've all been carefully f formulated and you know this way you know henna at least you're restricted maybe with the color. Well you can use you can use everyone if you can use because we could all use more moisture in our in our hair. And the one of the things I want to go back and just talk about in terms of, uh, before I go into the skin product, is that um, a lot of people don't realize your skin, including your scalp, is the largest organ of your body. So whatever you're putting on, your skin and scalp, if there's chemicals, it's going into your bloodstream. And I am one that really is against it. Like I said, I'm a true ambassador of my product. I only use natural stuff. Our skin clay mask is the same. So our skin... Uh, this is called the Uptan, which is the cleanser. It's made out of turmeric, which is now more and more being known for its medicinal properties. Turmeric is antioxidant and anti-aging in nature. Now, I don't think man, woman, we all want to look younger. So it's great, and it's mixed with uh, gram flour, so it's a gentle exfoliator at the same time being, like I said, it's actually antioxidant in nature. There's, in Indian, in our tradition, there is um, one uh, ceremony right, right before the wedding of both the bride and the bridegroom where their friends get together with great song and dance and put this on all over their body because it's believed the next day they're the purest and the cleanest and the most beautiful on the day of the wedding. And if you ever, like you can go on Uptan and do Indian wedding, you'll see it. There's, it's a big, big function. That, it's a pre-wedding thing. This is the clay mask, which is the Multani Mitti. Um, Dr. Oz is talking about how 
great the benefits of it. I just now need to make sure we get on Doc Bras and they mm -hmm. talk about how right. great Reish Mahana nice. is, you know. Um, well, what it is, is it's, um, it's called a Fuller's Earth. And what it does is it's excellent in the minerals that it's got oil absorbing properties. So it's perfect for teenage skin, oily skin, um, because it'll absorb the excess oil and keep your skin radiant and shiny and, you know, beautiful. The way henna works is with your own, your own body heat and temperature <coughs> and your own texture. See, it might last longer on my hair because it also depends how much you wash it, you know, environmental right, right. factors right. and all that. But on overall, it's like semi-permanent hair coloring four to six weeks. Uh, I know some, some of my friends who just do highlights once a year mm -hmm. and then this way and the rest of the time do th they do henna. This way it's like really minimal damage to your hair. They're not going and bleaching it again and again. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they do it once, get the color, and then they do that. For yeah, for maintenance, exactly. Mm -hmm. And how long, how long it lasts in the, your hair, like when you put it before you wash it? Okay, so about f uh, how long should we put it in? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, they say put it in about an hour to get a good color. Because I know what they do, they put like most of the, most of the night time. Yeah. And they wash it in the morning. Well, yeah, a lot of women he do that. I never, yeah, he really knows his henna. <laughs> of course, I tell you, I mean, yeah. he grew up. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yes. he's really blonde. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. But that woman was a woman. Yeah. Like men, when you invite them in the wedding, yeah. they pour like in the palm, that's yeah. like a circle. It's like uh, like you were in the wedding. Right. Yeah. You know why they do that, especially yeah. in hot countries, because your extremities are where you, um, you know, are get the hot most. So henna actually cools you down. So they put it on your head, your hand, your feet. That's the tradition behind it. It's it's interesting how people. Does it really a cool you down? Yeah. It, when you put it on your head, you will feel cooler. Wow. Hundred and ten percent. Well, we're gonna cut okay. off the air conditioner. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like your idea. <laughs> We're looking to save some money. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Next time I come, there you go. Exactly. Oh, that would be great. Well, once again, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. Pleasure, uh, pleasure meeting right. you all. Appreciate it. Right. 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 Real busy. So nice to meet you. Okay. Karina. Karina, nice to meet you. Take care. Reshma Fem products available at Caribe Sales. Visit us online at www.caribesales.com.